This soccer game made up of one-legged players and a one-handed goalie is a familiar sight in Sierra Leone. So many citizens lost limbs during a decade-long civil war that there is now a national soccer league for amputees. Most were captured by rebels and tell the same horrific story. They captured me. I refused for joint then, so they decided to amputate my foot. Mustafa Karoma is a soccer coach and a team manager. On this day, he has come to have his limb refitted at the United Methodist Artificial Limb Fitting Center in Beau, Sierra Leone. When someone comes to the workshop, technicians start by taking measurements and fitting the client with an appropriate size prosthetic foot. This is size nine. A new leg is cut out of metal and hammered into shape. The limb is welded together for strength and to smooth out rough edges. Just like this. Okay. So that when the patient, so that when the patient is walking, this one can, uh, this aluminum will not break. Okay. When we mold it like that, it will be stronger like this one. You see, even when you press it like this, nothing will happen. Okay. But if it is like this, in this shape, we just leave it like this. When the patient is walking, it will not be possible. I am going to fit. It inside you, there is a board inside, as you can see, right? So we fit this sole inside the hole, right? Then we are going to use this nut to screw it so that the sole can hold firm to the aluminum plates. Getting around on a new limb takes practice, but the client will be able to walk, ride a bicycle, and most important, find work. Mustafa is eager to try out his new leg with some vigorous kicking. Mustafa's passion is soccer, a sport he was unable to play before coming to the clinic. This one is prepared by Handicap International, but it's too heavy for them. When water enters inside this thing, it's too heavy. They can't be able to work with it. When they come here, they leave it here and we prepare limbs for them. Amara Lapia has been running the United Methodist Prosthetics Clinic since 2003. The program, funded by the United Methodist Advance, serves 12 to 14 amputees a month and could do more with additional funding. $7,000 provides funding for the program coordinator. Workshop expenses, including electricity, assistance, and a night watchman, run $3,600. 7,500 buys aluminum sheeting, feet, and other supplies. Shipping expenses from the supplier in India can run $2,000 by sea mail or more than $7,000 by DHL. Annual expenses total $20,000 to $25,000. An additional one-time gift could allow the program to reach more people by providing the following. $7,000 will pay for airfare plus room and board for three technicians to receive additional training in India. A vehicle would allow technicians to reach people in remote areas. For now, disabled persons must somehow get to the clinic themselves to receive services. For some clients, the best option is an all-terrain wheelchair. The clinic would like to have 50 at a cost of $250 each. Your investment in the limb prosthesis program can lift people up, restoring their mobility and their place in the community. When they have the, leg, the, the artificial leg, right, some of them would cry, tears run in their eyes, because this is their first time using the leg. And they, they think that they are nobody in the society, but when we give them the limbs, they think they are part of us.